Yo, how is it going, Bears fans? Welcome back to another episode of the Bear Down Podcast. I am your host, Chris. Today, I am not joined by any co-host. I am in my college dorm, as you can tell. Completely new setting, and this is going to be the new setting for me for a while. One thing I do want to show you guys in this dorm, basically the only thing that I brought that matters, right over there in that corner, I know you see that Bears 100 flag. Let's go, baby. Bear Down. Uh, quick little story before we actually get into today's episode. Um, I go to school in Indiana. Uh, last night the Bears were playing the Colts, obviously preseason week three. Andrew Luck retires mid-game. Oh man, dude, just just going to school in Indiana. I've got so many friends that I've already met here that were like, "Oh my god, I oh my god!" Like I've got a ton of friends from Indiana, from Indianapolis specifically too, and they are just distraught right now. But as far as that whole Luck situation goes, one of the craziest things I've seen come out of sports in a couple of years. But um. Hey, I mean, I think sometimes people fail to realize that there's life after football and that there's always the next step to take. And, um, I mean, hey, it's good for luck. I, I hope he can finally get healthy and, and start feeling better. I would like to say uh, this is my dorm room. I'll have a couple podcasts being reported in my dorm room, but soon uh, they have podcast rooms at my school, so I'm going to rent those out. And hopefully just like the production value of the podcast overall is going to go up um, I'm gonna get nicer microphones, hopefully nicer, uh, hopefully nicer cameras to record with for the face cam, and hopefully overall just the podcast gets a lot better. I would like to say before I start talking about what I'm gonna talk about, which is my guy Eddie Pinheiro, who's been killing it. Um, this podcast is probably going to still stay on YouTube. It's gonna stay on YouTube, but we're also gonna move it over to either Spotify or Apple Podcasts. Now, the only reason for that is because. We want to become more of a podcast and not as much of like a show, and we're going to make longer episodes. And we also, um, we want to have a platform for viewers to listen where they don't have to come to YouTube all the time. But uh, we're going to stay on here because we have a pretty good following on here, and uh, we're also going to move it over to something else starting soon. So once that comes up, which will probably be sometime in the next week or two, we'll send out links and you guys can subscribe to us there. <clears throat> so... Today, we're going to be talking about Eddie Pinheiro. Uh, let me just give you guys a little breakdown about the entire week in general. Earlier this week, the Bears cut Elliot Fry. He is now with the Baltimore Ravens. Um, I mean, yeah, I can't I can't really say how that happened. Fry wasn't too great in the game against the Giants in a little bit of bad weather. Pinheiro was perfect in that game. Uh, I've been a Pinheiro fan since, uh, since we traded this contemporary seventh-round pick to him, uh, or for him. Uh, to the Oakland Raiders. So I'm going to talk about him a little bit. <clears throat> but obviously now here we are. We've got Pinheiro. We've got one week left in the preseason. Uh, the regular season game against the Packers is 11 days away, which is kind of crazy. But I'm going to break down Pinheiro, why I like him, and I'll also give a couple thoughts on anyone else we could possibly bring in a kicker. So Pinheiro's been my guy since the beginning. I loved him out of Florida. Uh, he's got a huge leg. Now throughout when he came to the league, I always thought that he needed to work on his accuracy, and I think throughout this whole training camp battle with Fry, I think that's definitely something that still holds true. He was great last night hitting a 58-yarder, uh, but there are some, I think, where if you watch him in training camp and stuff, he's got a really big boot. I mean, he's got a really, really big leg. There's a video of him. I'll, I'll put a link to it in the description when he was in college kicking an 81-yard field goal at Florida. Absolutely ridiculous, but he's got a big boot, and I think feel like when you've got a big boot and you I, I mean I'm not a kicker obviously I can't really talk much on this but if you shank a kick um, and you're kicking it that hard it cuts so much quicker in that direction that it's it's tough to to make those kicks so when you shank it from short way short range or you just kick it a little bit off the ball's traveling so quickly even though it's a shorter distance it still gets outside of those goal posts by the time it gets there now He's obviously working on his accuracy, and I love him so much. When when he was in that in that uh, training camp battle with Fry, I loved his leg. Fry couldn't kick these these longer field goals that Eddie could, and even though Fry had the accuracy, I knew that if Eddie improved his accuracy, he could be a darn good kicker. Fry, I mean, it's it's I, I would say it's easier to improve your kicking accuracy than it is your kicking power because that's what Fry needed. He needed, I think, a little bit more kicking power if he wanted a chance to win that competition. And I think if Eddie keeps working, I think the consistency will improve over time, especially kicking at Soldier Field. If he can get good at kicking at Soldier Field, I think he can kick anywhere in the league because just the, the lakefront weather as well as the wind that it brings in, 
uh, it, it's a good setting for you to be a good kicker. And obviously, we have we've seen Robbie Gold, who used to be incredible kicking here. He went and kicked perfectly fine in New York with similar weather, and now he's out in San Francisco, a nice place outdoors. He's he, he's he's been killing it. And honestly, I wish he was our kicker, but obviously he's not. And I'm rolling with our guy Eddie. Um, but anyways, yeah, that's why I like Pinero. I wanted a short little video today. Just to keep you guys updated, I'm going to get in some sound rooms soon, record some really nice podcasts, hopefully very soon. But that's why I think Pinero's our guy. I mean, I think if he improves his accuracy, he's going to be spot on, and I, I really think he could become a good kicker in this league very, very soon. So comment below if you guys think Pinero's the kicker for the Bears in the future or not. Also, one guy I would like to bring up before I do end this episode, I will say one thing I would like to bring up, one well, that one guy, is... um. If Pinheiro does not do well in this last preseason game, and I don't even know who it's against, if I'm being completely honest with you guys. I actually have no idea. I'm a college student now. I've been out of the loop. I've still been following the Bears as best as I can, but I haven't looked uh, looked ahead to the next week. I could see them possibly signing someone that gets cut after training camp or maybe trading for a veteran. Uh, a guy I've talked about before, if you follow my fan page on Instagram, is Joey Sly. He is the Panthers kicker. Um probably going to get cut because Graham Gano's there or maybe traded for something very, very slim. He's someone I could see the Bears bringing in, and he did really well against us a couple weeks ago in the preseason week one. So he's someone I think we could see bringing in. Veterans, I mean, there's Matt Bryant, but he's old. Uh, I hate to say it, but he's old, and it doesn't seem like too much of a viable option at this point. There's no one else I can really think of off the top of my head. Maybe if Dan Bailey got cut um, for the Vikings, but he wasn't too great last year, so I wouldn't see that happening either. Anyways, uh, my point is, if Pinheiro doesn't lock it up next week and if he's not really solid, I could see them bringing someone else in. But I will say, no matter what happens next week in that preseason game, I think Pinheiro will be the starting kicker week one versus Green Bay. And I'm, I'm excited to see this guy improve. I think he's got a lot a lot to prove, and I think he's going to be really good. So keep your eye on Eddie Pinheiro. Uh, I'm, on, I'm on his side. I've been in his corner since we traded for him. So I'm excited for that. So, comment below, do me a favor, if you guys think Pinheiro is going to be the week one kicker, and if not, comment who you think is going to be the kicker week one, and that'll pretty much do it for me, guys. I hope you guys like the new setting. I'm going to get in some sound room soon. I mentioned that earlier, so also, I'll keep you guys I'll keep you guys posted on uh, if we're going to move to Spotify or Apple Podcasts soon in the future. That'll pretty much do it for me. You can follow my Bears fan page on Instagram, at Dash I Bears News, and you can also follow Parth and Jalen, our other co-hosts, fan pages. They're going to be down in the description. You can follow the podcast on Twitter and Instagram at Bear Down, and that'll pretty much do it for me, guys. Bear Down, Chicago. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.